This animation is sponsored by Michael Gibson's Babylon Twins, the first book in a new apocalyptic series. The year is 2020. Multiple companies have retained control of the Terminator franchise, and as a result, the timeline has been fractured. With each fracturing, a new batch of Terminators hits the silver screen. Our only hope is to summarize the evolution of the Terminator and make sense of this sloppy franchise. Skynet first sends a T-800 to 1984. He sports beige pants, black boots, a patterned tee, and a bulky gray jacket. While he's nearly impenetrable, he can be burned, and as such, his hair is shortened and his eyebrows are singed off. He then wears a leather jacket, gray shirt, and covers up an eye wound with wide glasses. His mission is to hunt down Sarah Connor, the mother of future resistance leader, John Connor. But he is hit by a truck and engulfed in an explosion, revealing his wobbly T-800 endoskeleton. That gets blown apart and crushed in a hydraulic press. A new T-800 appears in T-2. This one wears leather pants, smaller boots, and both a dark and light gray shirt. His hair is shorter and his glasses are smaller. He's been reprogrammed to protect John Connor from the T-1000, a liquid metal terminator with the ability to form sharp weapons with his limbs and morph into other forms. He's impervious to typical weaponry, but can be frozen and shattered, although he can quickly piece himself back together. Ultimately, he's defeated when blasted into molten steel, with the T-800 following close behind to eradicate this timeline of all Terminator technology, preventing Skynet's inception. T-2 Battle Across Time introduces the early model T-70 with the machine gun arm, as well as the spider-like liquid metal T-1000. But that's just a theme park attraction, so we'll move on. Terminator 3 Rise of the Machine showcases the scooter-like T-1s, includes a brief appearance of the T-900, and the T-800 is back. Uh, whoops, I, I mean the T-850. He wears a more streamlined jacket, looks about 10 years older, and briefly dons star-shaped glasses. He's stronger, can withstand heavier firepower, and has a hydrogen power supply which is prone to explosions. This machine is in charge of protecting John Connor and his future wife from the female TX, whose endoskeleton is encased in liquid metal and mostly wears a skin-tight red suit. She has an arsenal of arm weapons, can spin her head 360 degrees, identify DNA from a sample of blood, morph into other people, and enlarge her breasts at will. But in the end, she is no match for the T-850's power supply suicide, which allows John Connor and his wife to escape to safety as Judgment Day begins. The TV series, The Sarah Connor Chronicles, features the smaller T-888 models, which make use of a hidden leg compartment to hold their gun, a liquid metal T-1001 that can use her extra liquid metal to form pet eels and morph into a fast-moving slug, and the dainty in size T-900, sent to protect John Connor. But this show is a whole can a worm. So let's keep going. Following Terminator 3, Terminator Salvation showcases the upgraded T1s, the hulking T600s, which wear unconvincing rubber masks and tattered clothing, the smaller T700 endoskeletons, Moto Terminators, and Marcus, a human Terminator hybrid who unknowingly carries a chip that allows Skynet to control him. In a turn of events, Marcus rejects the chip and opts to help John Connor in battle, going so far as to donate his heart to save John's life. In Terminator Genesis, the previous two sequels are entirely a Ignored. And this time, the T-800 appears older, sports a hooded jacket, and has slicked back hair. In this timeline, he was sent to raise a young Sarah Connor. Together, they take down the original film's T-800 and a remodeled T-1000. Then, after a 33-year time jump, he appears even older and wears a green jacket with blue jeans, followed by a darker ensemble. This film's future also features the Terminator embodiment of Skynet, the T-5000, which infects John Connor with nanorobots, turning him into the T-3000 hybrid. The T-3000 travels back in time to ensure Skynet's survival, but the T-800 forces him into a prototype time machine, which tears him apart, while the T-800 lands in liquid metal, giving him a liquidy upgrade. Taking place after T-2, Dark Fate premieres yet another T-800, and this one finally manages to kill John Connor. 22 years later, he's older, sports a plaid shirt, blue jeans, and a slick brown jacket. He's also grown a masculine beard, renames himself Carl, adopts a family, and is running a... Drapery? business? 
Dark Fate also introduces Grace, a human with cybernetic alterations who requires replenishment via various drugs to stay in top shape. In this timeline's future, the animalistic Rev7 model is seen. They have tentacle-like spikes on their back and can split apart, forming an additional liquid metal model. But the main antagonist, the Rev9, is able to appear human while retaining the ability to split his endoskeleton from himself. Grace, the T-800, and a grizzled Sarah Connor protect Danny, this timeline's future resistance leader. From the Rev-9, which gets tossed into a giant blender, is overloaded with Grace's power supply, and held down by Carl, disintegrating them both. And now, we just wait until Arnie needs another paycheck for the next reboot to get greenlit. Father, read us a bedtime story. Nah, books are just unfinished movies. But this book has action. Hmm? Adventure! Who? Sci-fi robots! Yeah? And romance? You had me at robots. Babylon Twins follows young twin sisters Chloe and Elle, who flee into the woods with their family after warring factions of artificial intelligences take over the world. When their mother doesn't come back from a mission, the now-grown twins must venture into what's left of civilization. But things aren't as black and white as they thought. Use the links down below to purchase the first book in the Babylon Twin series for audiobook, Kindle, or physical novel to help support the animations and make your own hounds happy. Thanks for liking and commenting on the video. Huge props to the patrons for supporting the channel. Subscribe and ring the bell to be the first to know when new Tell It Animations are live.